Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Find the area under the given curve of y equal to the square root of x from 0 to 9. Step number one, draw a diagram. So here's a rough and ready kind of sketch to give you what the function looks like and the exact area that we're looking for. So if you think about the function y equal to the square root of x, it's going to look roughly speaking something like this. And of course, you can always leave with the function. If you want to pick a couple of points to illustrate what we're looking for, here's the point that we're thinking about. When x equals to 9, this point, if you go across, the corresponding y value is going to be 3. And again, we know this because the square root of 9 is going to be exactly 3. And of course, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now, how do we do this? This is what we're looking for right here. That is called the area, which we're going to designate with capital A. And we'll put a question mark here. That's what we're looking for. Here we go. To find the area under this curve, you're taking the antiderivative of the square root of x with respect to x. And you're going to evaluate this from 0 all the way to 9. Now, let's move this up a little bit for you. Here we go. Now, if you think about the area, this equals to, again, you can think about x as x to the power of half. So I can rewrite the entire right-hand side, except the only difference is I'm expressing it in exponent form. So x to the power of half. Now, don't forget, when you find the antiderivative or the integration of x to the power of half, you have to add the exponent by 1. And half plus 1 is going to be 1 and a half, or 3 over 2. And you're dividing it by the new exponent. So you're dividing it by 3 over 2. And you have to evaluate this. Let's try this again. You have to evaluate this. One moment. Let's try again. Okay. Let's erase this. So we're doing this live with you. You see every single step that I'm doing without exception. And you're going to evaluate this from 0 all the way to 9. Again, we're dividing it by 3 over 2, just like that. Let's zoom in for you. Okay. Now, let's see. I'll draw an arrow here. The area equals to. Again, you're going to plug in 9 first, so 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, since you're dividing it by 3 over 2, that is the same as multiplying it by 2 over 3. And you're going to subtract, and you're going to plug in the same thing. And notice if you plug in 0, this entire second part is going to become 0. Now, <clears throat> you could use mental math. You can use a calculator. I'm going to show you a little bit of mental math today. You know, when you think about 9 to the power of 3 over 2, that is the same as taking 9 to the power of half first, which is basically the square root of 9. Take that number to the power of 3, just like that. So let's see if I can do this with you in one step. Are you ready? If you think about 9 to the power of half, that's going to be the square root of 9. That's going to be 3. 3 to the power of 3 is going to be 27 divided by 3. That's going to be 9. 9 times 2 is going to be exactly 18. Don't forget. We're talking about the area under a curve. So really, the metric is going to be units square. So again, the final area is going to be 18 units square. I hope this makes sense.